My bad, I had to pause my music because if you guys didn't know, I love music in every vehicle I have. And Thomas's crew cab has been here for about a week now. So I brought home from Florida if you guys didn't watch the last video. And it doesn't have audio in it. Like it's all stock. The, the radio in it is ancient. So I'm gonna take it to Infinite Customs and have Thomas a full sound system installed inside of it because I'm with him a lot at shows and in Florida. And when we drive it, we sit in silence. And I don't want to sit in silence anymore in his truck. So I'm going to go get the whole sound system done inside of it, drop it off there right now, going to hook up the mega cab to the gooseneck, and then load that up. But let's go look at this ancient ass radio. You guys have to see it. The best part about it is I picked up some new batteries because I brought it to the cold, and the batteries didn't like the cold. It had like 750 cold cranking amps. So like the mega cab is like what is it, 980. But now the rock lights are literally bright during the day. How bright they actually are. Even on that radio, that that is literally older than the truck. Like ancient, ancient. And it's a crew cab, meaning you can put four speakers in this in these doors. And probably a lot of subs inside of it. And a nice head unit. He's probably going to make an iPad dash because he's the king of making it for second gen. So let's get the mega cab backed up to the trailer. Get that hooked up and get this truck loaded up. Lights on or rock lights off on the way to Chicago? What do you think? Either? On or off? On. All right. Leave them on. Let's see if this fucker starts up. About that time where you smack the straps. Hold on, I'll do it. One, one more crank out of this one. And you say, that bitch ain't going nowhere. That right there is like 1500 horsepower that definitely escapes the cops. And it sounds like a fucking jet. It's sick. Outside. It's literally like 13 degrees on February 15th. So let's head out to Infinite Customs and get the sound system inside the crew cab and start like the mega cab. Get paid, no I'm always on my grind 24 for 7 days Fake the 
color money green I've been on my grind since I was in the seventh grade Had my first kid, I was only 17 Always a provider for my pack like Wolverines But you won't find me on the mountaintop Need no calculator, I can wear it cause it kinda lie Always on my cab around that paper like a Michael Scott We are back at the shop now The crew cab got dropped off last night So we got the trailer back here, that's unhooked The mega cab needs a water pump now because it's horrible weather here and it goes from hot to cold like every other week but first we're gonna get this thing rolling put it into this bay because it's just about done all we gotta do is put the front coilovers on and throw the calipers on and then the roller is done and it can get the motor tossed in it throw the rear brake lines on it and this thing should be ready to rip here in the very near future i know the body's about to get painted i've seen that i will throw some clips of that in this video because the body is absolutely immaculate straight but we have to go grab my gooseneck really quick. So let's go do that and we'll get back and we'll do some shit to this truck. So like four and a half years later, my trailer's back inside of my possession. The ramps are gone. So that means ramps are gone. I think I gotta call Diamond C on Monday. I can't use this one with no ramps. So we'll have to buy a new one. See, Kevin thought it'd be cool to like make his truck. Bottom of the rocker is literally like four feet over me. I thought my Julie was big. Kevin ruined that for me. Watched his last YouTube video. I was like, oh, sick. I'll just myself. Now my, my truck's small. When my truck is up to here on me and his is, his just touches Jesus. It is very cold, but we have more goosenecks in the lot than we do trucks in the lot because I cleared the lot out and I actually closed down the U-Haul side of my business. Now all there is is two goosenecks, my dually, the little baby truck, and the Thomas's crew cab, which you guys know is not here anymore. It's at Infinite Customs, getting a full sound system done, but... It is so weird seeing my gooseneck back in my possession after it being gone for about two months and it feels good to have my trailer back. Now I just gotta get that one back to Florida. Along with this one, he's to go to Florida too. So somehow we gotta put this one on my truck, that one on this one, and then Thomas's crew cab on that one. So it, it might be a little bit too tall, but that's no problem because we have the Gen Y Spartan Torsion Flex Coupler. So we should be able to make that happen very, very quickly. But it's cold outside, and I want to get inside and get my blue and black truck moved around. The Mega Cab, I said, needs a water pump, so I got to get that thrown on there. These are not for this truck. I just had to put them on here because my stock wheels always vanish. And this is all we had here, so now I can roll this truck around with these wheels on it and get it into this bay where I'm going to finalize everything, then back the trailer up to the bay, load up the little baby truck onto the trailer, and then probably take it over to Cole Motors so I can have my motor and trans set into it. Then from there on out, it'll go down to Indianapolis where I will set the body onto it and either back here or to Florida to get everything wired up, everything bolted down, the body panels aligned. And yeah, we are so close on this because once I get the motor and trans in and set the body on, it'll take me maybe a day or two to get it running and driving because I'm getting ready to align the front wheels. Unfortunately, with the tires I have on it, I have to do it with the tape measure which is fine. Once it's done, I can take it to an alignment shop on stock wheels and get it like completely dialed. But we will see how it drives first prior to that because it's very, very good adjustability when it comes to adjusting like your steering wheel or your toe in and out. So you just unbolt this, unloosen the heim joint, or with this, you just twist this and that adjusts your steering wheel. But front axle's done. All that stuff's on. We have to get these things drove out a little bit so the holes line up. Never again will I probably ever overlay something that has a bend inside of it. I learned that lesson, so we won't do that again. I have to get the overlays cut for the cradle, the front truss, the sides of the rear truss because they are no longer on there. And if you guys don't know the story of the truck, there's a reason the overlays aren't on it, but that's fine. We can get them recut. It's not the end of the world. How about that? That looks quite insane to have on the inside of the cradle. It's all about the details on the truck. I think we definitely achieved that when it comes to this truck. I have to get the sump installed. I already cut the hole inside the bottom of the tank for that. Get our fuel lines ran. So we'll have this one go up to the motor. This one will go down to the sump. And this one will go down to the sump. And that should look pretty sick inside of there. I wish I would have mounted it differently. Not up there because that's going to be a tight fit. So maybe we'll have to move the sump somewhere else. Or just now need a new fuel tank. When the time comes, we will deal with that. I didn't account for the top arm and the sump but there should be some easy, easy way around that. The wiring turned out phenomenal on this. I still have to figure out this one last wire. I forgot what it hooked up to. 
but it was something that gave power to this. Then I also have to get a new one of these because I got the one at the wrong end. And I don't, I don't think a circle will plug into a rectangle, but that is probably for the Mega Cab, I would assume. Grab more bolts for the rest of the diff cover because Brandon lost them in the gist of moving all of these nuts and bolts around. And I did very well on saving nuts and bolts besides the overlay screws. There are no more overlay screws. This truck had all the overlays on it prior to taking it apart, so I don't know where all these little quarter 20 bolts went. I've been waiting a while now for the calipers to get here. So maybe we should run down to Lafayette, Indiana and check out the body really quick because I'm getting impatient and I don't feel like waiting for these calipers to show up anymore because that's all I have left. So let's go down there and check out the body really fast. Driving on the road like I'm the only one. Shooting to the green, I talk a hole in one. Bible on the dash, they with the holy one. I know I put in work, they didn't notice none. Switch gears, clubhouse, took me six years, marble floors, gold trim, feel like I'm Richie Rich, Italian left, French sway, I mix the fist sick, quick claws, take a risk, we play for the win. Might spend a mill at the rug store like Manafort, but making purchases you can't afford. I move the money like it's illegal, something more of, rig of mortars, where I move dead people lay low, took L's, know how those days go, say so, he say, but nothing ain't no pesos, deals locked, it's like a case closed, bankroll. As you guys see, the body's immaculate. This is immaculate. The doors are straight, and it's about ready for me to let's not total this second gen because I haven't drove a second gen since I totaled my last one. It's got a nice hood. Kind of forgot I had this hood. Sport bumper, four doors, a bed, a tailgate, and a cab. So back to Chicago because I gotta finish the roller because they probably want this thing out of their garage and I want it back. We are back at the shop and I literally just drove four hours for 40 seconds of this video, but I actually did want to see the truck because I hadn't seen it since I took it apart here months back, three, four months ago. And it was kind of cool to see the truck all straight and in the process of getting painted because I had dropped it off with intentions on not going back down there until it was done. But I got, I got curious, I wanted to see how it was going. So that's the truck, how it sits right now. This is about done. The motor doesn't have much more to go on it. I have to order the head for it and that's it. And the head will be here in about a week, I would say. But the Mega Cab is in the shop and I guess the water pump got done on it. And the old one is over here, pretty disgusting. And the little pin on the bottom of it had blown out. So that had gotten replaced. I see that the calipers are here too for this truck because we had the ones that were powder coated, but the people who powder coated them didn't really take their time. So we have to get new calipers and that's exactly what we did. So these will come back apart, get painted, and we will throw brake pads on it. We have to go buy brake pads from O'Reilly's yet still. And then once that's done, I don't think there's anything else left on the suspension besides overlays, which can get thrown on at any time because I designed them to where the bolts don't go through them. They wrap around all the bolts just like this. So those will go on fairly easily. And other than that, you gotta finish up the speed sensor wires. That'll be easy to do that whenever. And this thing's literally done. The roller is complete, I would say. Ready for the body to go on it, and the sump needs to be installed yet still. That should be here at any minute. I gotta get the shocks replaced on the Mega Cab because we are going down to Lone Star Throwdown with this truck, along with the Gooseneck and Thomas's Crew Cab. Next week on Tuesday, we are leaving here in Indiana. That means we will be at Lone Star with the Crew Cab. It'll be in the TIS Wheels booth. You guys should see us down there if you're coming to the show. Come say hi. We have to get some stuff moved around here at the shop before we leave, though, and get things situated for what is next for the channel. But with that being said, that's gonna end the video. I'm gonna get these things painted, get the speed sensor wire cleaned up and get this thing on the ground and get it moved around to the next stage it needs to go in. But it's like a big relief seeing the roller done because a lot has went into this. And if you guys have never done something to this caliber, like disassembling completely everything, mainly the axles, then you know how it goes if you have done it. But the axles definitely took the most time. Everything's brand new inside of them. And just the view of the back of this truck is quite insane. So once I get that drive shaft inside, they're all polished, get the motor and trans in and the body on it, this thing will be coming together here very, very shortly. And then we have that to work on. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like, comment, let me know what you guys think. And I will see you guys in the next one.